Hello. Oh my gosh, chat has been chatting. Ah, so excited. Good morning. Hello. Uh, it's afternoon for me, but good morning to you. Uh, hello. Probably not going to be chatting very much this time as I want to get some sewing done. That's fine. Uh, just having you here kind of boosting the numbers is, is still useful. So... Uh, oh, yes, I should uh, switch the scene, shouldn't I? There we go. Now you can actually see me. Ah, everyone's crafting. <laughs> what are you crafting, Cozy Bookworm? By the way, is there like a nickname I can call you, Cozy Bookworm? Rather than just saying Cozy Bookworm? Because... Oh, hello, the rabbit... Rabbit yonk? Yoink? Hello! Nice to have you in the chat. Oh, thank you for the follow. Hopefully that comes up on the... Uh... Nope, it hasn't come up with the uh, the, the ping thing that it, I set it up to do, but that's fine. Cozy is what people usually call me, but my name is Kim. Uh, I was I was more meaning like a, a nickname. Uh, what what would you prefer to me to call you? Because you've been in every single stream, so oh yes, this is the uh, the village that I've been working on. Uh, if you've seen the sneaky reel I posted, oh, there we go. That was very late. Cozy is good. Okay, what are you crafting, Cozy? Um, as I was saying, uh, if you saw the sneaky sneaky reel that I posted, uh. I've been working on the village and I did all of this in about three hours yesterday. <sighs> so here we've got a little building that I still need to put the fireplace in and the bookshelves but that's fine. Um, and then I've planned out where all the other buildings are going to go. So that's what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be on that grind. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we're going to be designing these buildings and then possibly building them, depending on how much time we have. Probably more so the designing. Um, and then this is where the town centre will be, so I'm not sure if I want to do like a tree or a statue or a waterfall, but something here that signifies the the town centre. T-shirts for all the littles. Caribbean Premier League is starting today and our team plays their first game on Saturday. Ah, cool! Good luck to... Uh, to your team then. Uh, cricket. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, hope it goes well. Um, so down here I'm going to work on once I've finished up there just because it's it's good for me to pick specific things to work on rather than just working on it at all. Um, then I've also worked on this kind of watchtower. So there's lots of areas for... This is kind of what I, what I wanted to do in 1.19. If you remember, I had that tower with the new village that I never actually finished decorating. This is kind of what I was wanting to go for, so these little holes that will allow for a bow and arrow to shoot out of, but be harder for invaders to shoot at us. Um, not that I'm planning on having any invaders, but you never know. And then up here, you can get a good look at the village, so... So I am going to hop into my uh, creative kind of test building world and uh, then we shall do some designing of buildings. I am just going to cut to this uh, slide so you guys don't see all of my Minecraft worlds. There we go. Uh, so this is where I kind of tested out world edit and then I just started building all of the builds. So you can see the the buildings from the village and looks like it could be a cool harbour town. Yeah, that's that's kind of the, the vibe that I'm going for with it. Um, 
but that's kind of in the future. Um, you can see the 1.19 village buildings over there. But this is where we're working on. So. I wanted all of the uh, the buildings to be different, although it means more work for me. It just gives each building its own little personality. Are you planning on creating a mega base in the survival world? I am, but that's uh, once I've managed to get an elytra because in uh, my uh, in the survival world, I haven't even fought the ender dragon yet. Um, but possibly making a mega base is on the table. Um, that is something that I would like to do. Uh, whether or not I actually succeed in doing it is another story, but it's something that I want to do. But I'm probably going to be um, making it in creative first, unlike what I did in 1.19 world. This house is back to front. Okay. So, part of the reason that I wanted to make it um, above the... So the, the door is here rather than on the floor. First of all, it adds a bit of interest into the shape. And also, in the actual survival world, the floor in some places is hollow and quite a large drop and I didn't want to risk uh, that drop at all so I like this song what's this song called wager with angels nice it's a nice vibe So how did I do the... Okay. There we go. You know, I never actually noticed that I made the floor of this... The dark oak. Uh, no, the the cherry wood, which kind of annoys me. Not now, not gonna lie. I don't know what I'm gonna do for this diagonal, but not gonna lie. I've never actually tried making a diagonal thing before, which is why I added in a diagonal, because I wanted to test my building abilities. This obviously won't be an exact copy of the other one, but if I can get some similarities between the two, just so there's kind of a a standard between all of the houses. So, for instance, this this doorway is kind of how the houses in this village look. Um, now for a roof. <laughs> Roofs are hard. Unless I make a 
make it like that. Oh my gosh, I did a very bad job at placing these um, these pillars. There we go, that looks mostly okay. Ah yes, I know this song. Lament of the Ancients is the song name. Which is the song that I used when exploring the ancient city in uh, 1.19. Mostly because it's, it's called Lament of the Ancients, so... stretching out like that. I found an ancient city and an end portal directly below my base. Wow! Uh, is that the um, the new base that you recently moved into? Sorry, it's loading right now. Ah, good luck! I I hope you managed to find Swift, Swift Sneak. Why is that such a mouthful? Yes, which is insane. Ah! So it, it, it was a good idea to move then. It really was. <laughs> that looks like a nice place for a window. How's that looking? It definitely needs a roof. I'm just not sure what to do with for the roof because roofs are hard. They are very hard to build for absolutely no good reason. we go I might make this some kind of shop building them is the worst I yeah tell me about it <laughs> that's why uh, I ended up making all of the roofs on here just kind of barn roofs that's why the second floor to, the, to my base right now is for that roof. honestly that's that's valid um I I I Honestly, can't blame you for that. So maybe we'll see how this looks, perhaps. I 
I need to fix it, but I just hate building them, especially in spiral. Yeah. I love the dark oak with the cherry wood. Me too. I think, um, so one of the YouTubers that I watch is, uh, Gemini Tay. Um, and not gonna lie, her world is very, very pink. And don't get me wrong, I love the colour pink. It's an amazing colour. But sometimes it can be a bit too much. Um... And I don't want that to become my world, hence why I'm making the roof dark oak and adding in the, the contrast to the pink. I'm mean, not gonna lie, most, most YouTubers are just really going for the pink nowadays. I agree completely, it makes it cosy. Yeah! yeah. Uh, is there something pretty I can do here? No. Yeah, no. I like your design. Thank you. Uh, no. Hmm. I'm just trying to find something that makes it look less thick. But I don't think I can do that today. Oh, stream elements, hydration reminder. Remember to ensure that you are hydrated and drink something if you are able to, as Stream Elements has said. Right, well I mean that's that's one part of the roof kinda done. Uh we can we can fix it later. Uh thanks for the reminder. Ha, no problem. Uh that is why I set it up. Mostly for my benefit, but just in case anyone else needs a reminder. And if I just get rid of that bit and... Hmm, if I make this area a flat roof... And add that as kind of support, perhaps. I might just make a list of all of the blocks that I'm using a lot. So I'm using this for the main walls, these for the roofs, and then spruce for the um, for some kind of highlights. Why is this roof slightly... No, because... Ah, that, that, that's gonna bug me now. I don't know what to do about that. Um, don't know what to do about this, so I'm just gonna... We're gonna work on the interior in a bit. Um, Possibly like this.
we'll see how this looks once once we're done. It may look absolutely amazing or it may look absolutely dreadful. Uh, I don't know. But that's why I'm building it in creative so I can fly around and see rather than having to keep almost dying because I'm jumping down. Blech. Uh, please ignore my uh, trying to get used to world edit and awful attempts at a tree. I keep making that mistake. <laughs> yeah. Flying around does help. Yeah. Which is why I am using Lightmatica to be able to fly around. How does this look? I'm not sure I'm feeling this area. So potentially could we do something clever and make it turn it into like a beam of some description I mean that makes it less visible at least I mean, chances are nobody's going to see most of these details, considering I'm the only person in the world, and uh, most people won't be looking at that specific weird-looking bit. Um, what do we think about the kind of chunky roof? Um, I'm definitely gonna push these up and then I'm not sure I'm not sure either because um, no matter what I do uh, with stairs it's going to no that that doesn't look good does it uh Not that block. I'm not sold about it, but I don't quite know how else to make this kind of overhang bit without making the chunky roof. So, which looks nicer? No, the stairs down to me. Um. Do it in a different colour. What the the front of the roof? Um, I know I have mud bricks. Maybe try and find a darker. like that or make like say uh hold on I'm gonna leave this side uh bear with me a second it doesn't have to be mud it's just that's something that I know that I've got to hand can you get rid of un the steps underneath so kind of like this uh, kind of this side yeah okay well we'll try that 
I don't particularly like the mud. Um, that that definitely makes it better. Thank you. And now let's do it for this one because this is also a clunky, chunky roof. Um, well, I was just about to say I love how the mud looks with the pink. Oh, I think the mud looks good with the pink. Like, I think mud blocks definitely work with pink. Oh, I forgot I had the... Uh, but I I was more meaning specifically with this, the wood. Like, I think if I were to do uh, mud and cherry wood, it would probably be its own thing without the dark oak. Personally, these are just personal tastes. Um... I didn't want the torch flower. I want the flower pot. To be able to add the little flower pots. Uh, I'm not going to have that one. Um, yeah. Uh, what else did I put? I put glow lichen on the outside. And then that is actually spruce in the, in the real thing. Uh, because I didn't have fence gate um, so I just made it spruce because why not so this, will, this glow lichen will give a bit of kind of ambient light and also it kind of makes it look a bit older There we go, and now we can sort out the travesty that is the inside. Right, so easy fix here, we can we can do this to make it look like it's kind of intentional. There we go. And now bring this wall. Uh, no, we can't have that. What? Actually, that's. That can just be a slab. And then if that. Ugh. Um, we'll have to sort that out on the inside. Uh, if. I turn that into cherry stairs. Okay, we're getting somewhere. And then make a second wall. Wait, if I do that, then yeah, I'm going to have to go now. My great grandma's having a really bad day. Hopefully I'll be back soon, but good luck. Oh no, I, I hope your great grandma gets better. Uh, or at least her, her day gets better soon, at least. Um, wishing you all the best. Thank you for, thank you for coming along. What are we going to do with the inside of this house? Sorry to jarringly change the subject here. Um, but uh, what are we going to make the inside of this house to be? Um, pot. 
possibly a library? Um, or we could just go onto the next house and start building that. Are you having it as a shop? Well, it's big enough to be a shop, so I might have it as a shop because uh, I want the I want the smaller houses to be the residential houses because frankly the villagers do not need this much space. They they do not need this much space. Um We'll see how a library looks in here and change it, if not. Uh, there we go, hydration reminder. I don't know if it's just because uh, we're doing because of the title or just because nobody's available today, but this is a lot much quieter of a stream than um, than before. And then we need to add in the lecterns. There we go. And this is where the uh, books will get sold. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think I'll have 10. And then we can put a chest here for, say, emeralds for trading and such. this not gonna lie we can have a little wool carpet because I've discovered that villagers don't like um, walking over normal carpet which is probably something I should have learned before looks cool thank you probably should have learned that before um, but you know that's that's fine just to make this entrance way feel a bit nicer and then the villagers can go here and um, sort out their trades and such. There we go. House number one done and it only took us 40 minutes. So this is going to be a residential place because it's definitely smaller. The cozy bookshop. Yes, exactly. So I might have this one like the 
other place and have a little um, raised sleeping area up here. I really didn't want to reset my spawn point, but that's fine. Um, so let's also make this area a, a bed, just maximise the amount of space. Oh, I didn't put any lights in there. Not this song. I or I really need to take that song off the playlist. That is a Christmas song that I've made for... Um, well, I didn't make it. I used it for the Christmas special. Um, but that obviously should not be on the playlist. Because it's not Christmas, it hasn't even been Halloween. Yes, need Halloween first. Exactly. Exactly. That's a. These are just kind of weird diagonals, which we'll work it out eventually. in here to prevent mobs from spawning right by the house. should not exist. Except for this raised bit. What? How did I fix that issue on the... Oh! See, I... Right. but still that's not right oh I didn't I had it go into the I see I think for this case this will be fine
we go. That looks nice. Looks okay. This is quite an epic song. Wow. I do not want to rest. I would like to build. There we go. Mostly okay, to be honest. I think up one more. Then, no wait, no. We'll want the slabs on this level. Yeah. This is just so that the villagers have enough space to sleep, so. Don't want them popping their heads. Exactly. Yes, exactly. So this can have a big win window. This music is spooky. Yeah, I. It's it's literally called spooked, so you'd hope it would be spooky.
and now the villagers can get a bookshelf. Now, can they stand on the beds? Uh, just about. If I do this, can they? Uh, hopefully, this one might uh, get upset. So we'll just have to deal with the This oh hydration reminder. There isn't much going on in this house, but it's nice. They can have a. Uh, now nah, we'll put a stair here. There we go. That was quite a dark house, but that's fine. So, in case you're wondering, I will be uh, rebuilding these in survival. Uh, but I'll I'll do that off camera since I'll need to gather all the materials and such, and also place them down so they correspond with the outlines and such. I just want to check that um, YouTube posted the alert. Like yes, it did. It did indeed post the alert, like I set it to, which is the first time that I've tried doing that. Does that take a long time? Uh, gathering materials, yes. Um, generally, rebuilding does kind of take a, a, a long time. Um, hold on. Uh... Let me just check something. Um, and I can tell you exactly. It took about 44 minutes to do most of the first house. Uh, and that's literally just building it in survival. That's, um, that's not including um, resource gathering time. Because as well as resource gathering, um, yeah, and then all the gathering. Because um, as well as building, it's the resource gathering, and then also I need to um, to find um, no, not find to kind of place the the schematic box where it should go. which can take a while uh, if it's just misbehaving. I put these two buildings too close to each other so they're um, so the roofs will be like this but eh, that's fine. I can just make the schematic go right up to the edge or just ignore the extra 
roof bit. That's fine. So this is also probably going to be a um, a house for the villagers. Probably a house for a lot of the villagers because there is a lot of space for the beds. I'm probably adding too much space in for the villagers' beds, but eh. It's fine. See, I think this can be a bit taller than the other house because it's a bit wider so I'm talking like I know what I'm doing I don't actually know what I'm doing I'm literally just freehanding a build um, but making it sound like I definitely know a lot about Minecraft building so I definitely know what to do right now You know what? This this area is going to get a thicker um, thicker roof because, frankly, I I don't care anymore. Um, I don't think any of these other buildings are big enough to be a shop. Potentially this one could be turned into, I don't know, a, some kind of animal shop. Um, oh, or this could be the blacksmiths. Um, so I might put all of the shops in uh, the other district. Um, We're going to put down a very basic roof here because why not? Um, no, I think it, we can uh, you know what, we'll give it a roof like these roofs. Why not? Throw back to the uh, the old village. Oh, so much work for the villagers to have a place to sleep. They better appreciate it. Yeah, they they'd better give me good deals on on all of these things because I'm putting a lot of effort in. Also, hello, Val, uh, Piero, welcome in. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing Piero correctly. Um, it is nice to have you in the stream. I'm 
just making this to sort of uh, split up this area. That was nice. Ah yes, the one that sounds like that one Minecraft song. Hmm, unless I had a window to break up the wall. Hmm, don't like that. No windows for this house, unfortunately. Um, sucks to be those villagers, I guess. Um... I mean, they're getting a nice looking house, so can they complain? I just suddenly realised that we have enough for a decorated pot and we can put flower pots in decorated pots. So we could put that you know what let's give this house a decorative pot wow and then potentially can we put one of the can we put say a pitcher plant no we can't put a pitcher plant in there oh well thank you for the follow uh don't know why um the alert stopped working but thank you for the follow Elizabeth Shadow Queen good to have you in here uh, we are currently don't know how long you've been watching for but just in case there's anyone new to be honest um, we are currently building houses for villagers that will later be uh, rebuilt into my survival world What can I do here to make it look slightly nicer? Oh, that's nice. Yes. Also, welcome into the stream. I hope you're enjoying. You know what? This house can have windows. We can finally give it windows because I found a good place to put the windows. It can have windows here. Uh, nope, it's the oak fences that we have for this. And then now time to fix the inside. And I do mean fix because, well, it's not really fixing in this case. It's actually, the inside's actually not too bad, to be honest. Um, that is definitely a face. Um, can you see the face, the eyes, and then the mouth? <gasps> anyway. We can add a shelf that absolutely no one can reach, because why not? Maybe the villagers that... This, these are kind of decorative shelves, uh, to be honest. And then we can... Hmm. What other things can you find inside a house? Um... Hmm. You need a ladder to get to the books. I mean, there, there can be a ladder that kind of comes down from the books, um, but I don't really want to make a ladder because I'd have to do something like this, and that doesn't really look nice to me, so no ladder there. Uh, 
However, a different thing I was thinking of was making a little kind of kitchenette area. Uh, I'm not going to put a smoker in because then that's going to... Oh, actually, I could put a smoker in. You know what? This is going to be a house, but also... Oh, I didn't realise that our ominous banners were in the um, inventory. Oh, hydration reminder. Everyone take a drink if you are able to. There we go, and uh, where does this come out? Because we can add a chimney, why not? None of the other houses have a chimney, and we want each of the houses to be unique. So, this house is going to have a chimney. Um, that is plenty up and then if I place a hay block this is a fun fact don't know if anyone who plays Minecraft is watching this but little fun fact here if you place a hay bale and then a campfire hold on, wait, you get extra smoke so this is a campfire and it's smoke normally this is a campfire and it smoke with a hay bale so as that is considerably a lot more smoke uh, well it stopped smoking but is it just me or is yeah and the smoke travels higher up as well so like that is considerably a lot more smoke and I don't know if it's just the hay bale or what the the thought behind that was but still it is a little fun fact about Minecraft. Well, you can send smoke signals to people on the other side of the village. Yeah, so uh, in my last stream I was talking, there's there's a specific area that um, is like, a, hold on, I'll just go, I, I need to make a, a, a new, uh, another uh, slide that doesn't say stream starting soon, but We'll roll with it for now. Uh, the stream is not starting soon, just to be clear. This is just me switching worlds so you guys don't see um, all of my other worlds. Um, yes, this is the village, how it's looking right now. So like that tower, that tower? That is not a tower, Pixie, that is a hill. Um, that hill could be like a beacon so like Gondor calls for aid kind of vibes so we are going to walk up to that hill right now um, am I getting distracted? absolutely doesn't matter not really no if if I didn't want to get randomly sidetracked in the middle of the building session I wouldn't have done it on stream Oh, I'll need to sort out that because that does not look nice. Nor does that. I, I, I don't like the look of the paths, how they're naturally generated. Um, seems to be turning night. So, we'll leave soon, but... Like, up here we could put, like, a beacon and... Then over there we can... Joys of being a near adventure gamer. Exactly! And that is exactly what the um, the reel that I posted what yesterday is all about. And then we could put another one over there and then it would light all the way to my base and the village would be able to call for aid. Uh, 
Oh, this is the spooky music at the end of my last episode. Anyway. Again, stream not starting soon. Stream already started. This is just me. Oh, I just opened up the same world. Give me a second. I just opened up the exact same world. Sorry. It already started like one hour ago. Exactly, yeah. Uh, so stream is not starting soon. This is just me not having a be right back screen. Which I need to make. Now this music just sounds like an epic battle that's supposed to begin soon. Yeah. I, I, I agree with you to be honest. It is definitely an epic song. Um, but I used it for creepy music uh, at the end of my creepy tense music at the end of my last episode. Can we just appreciate how in one hour we've made three buildings? Can we just appreciate that real quick? Right, now for a long and thin house. Yes, thank you. Claps, 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 claps. This music will now always make me think of uh, the very end of my most recent episode. If you haven't already watched that, go and watch that now. Uh, actually, no, wait. Watch that after the end of this stream. Um, Do make sure that you're subscribed. Because in that last episode, we went into the nether and it was kind of more of a lore video. There was a lot more plot than I normally do. Um, oh, thank you for following Alice Scarlet Inc. One. Hello! Welcome on in. Um, so. We are currently designing buildings. Oh, there we go. There is the, the ping. Um, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Um, so currently we are building houses for villagers. Um, so we've got the little library here. Small house. I'm doing good. That's good. Um, another small house. This time, oh, need to cover that up. Uh, give me one second. Good to hear that. <laughs> um, there we go. That's covered it up. Uh, this time with the kitchenette. Do you stream daily? No, I don't. I seem to be streaming like every two weeks or so. Um, because that's that's mostly when I kind of have the time and motivation to stream. Currently, I'm only really streaming when I am able to. Um, but that shouldn't stop you from coming in to say hi. Which, that is what you're doing. Which game do you stream mostly? I currently I kind of only stream Minecraft. Um, usually on my 1.20 single player world. And but I may stream other games in the future. Like there are a couple games that I kind of would like to play, possibly on stream. But we'll see. It's it currently it's only really Minecraft the ice stream. Nope, that's the wrong way around. Um, yeah, Minecraft is a good game. Yeah, it's a really good game. I definitely like Minecraft, if you couldn't tell. Um, what's your favourite game? Minecraft. Yeah, it's it, it's Minecraft. 
However, I do also really like um, Stardew Valley and nice. I also like Stardew Valley and Portal as well. Both of those are good games. Uh, all of the Portal games, to be honest. Uh, all three of no, two. There's only two Portal games. Uh, I wish there were three of them, but there's only two. Um, do you stream for entertainment purposes, or have you considered making streaming your passion? Uh, to be honest, the only reason that I'm streaming is so that I can get kind of grindy tasks like building this done for my YouTube channel. Um, but I am definitely enjoying streaming. Um, So I'd say it's kind of a, a mixture of both, kind of. Why? I'm having a trouble placing stairs today. Um, it's it's kind of for entertainment, but also kind of for fun. for the struggle that is the roof. Hmm. How are we gonna do this? Are you streaming only Twitch? Yeah, I'm only streaming on Twitch at the moment. I I don't have the energy to work out how to simultaneously cast to YouTube, Twitch, whatever. No, I that is not something that I have the brain power for right now. <laughs> So you are getting exclusive Pix Pickle content here on Twitch. Although I do put up the VODs on my YouTube channel, but they're not live. I'm glad you like it. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, if I say hmm, okay, that's just me. That is purely just me thinking. Thinking noises intensifies. No, we don't actually want those overhanging bits because as we discovered earlier on in the stream it looks slightly better without them because otherwise the roof looks really weird uh, I'm not quite sure what to do here Um hmm, where's where is a block of that? Ah, mouse went funny. Dark oak planks, yes. There we go. going to do that. I am going to sort that out in a bit. Da 
That's a future pixie problem. We don't need to worry about that right now. Hmm. Unless... Oh, but then that looks weird. Ugh, why are roofs so hard? We've, we've already had this conversation this stream, but still, roofs are very hard. Or at least Minecraft roofs are hard. I don't know about IRL roofs. Oh, hydration reminder. Make sure to have a drink if you are able to. Because hydration is important. Well, how long has it been since you've been streaming on Twitch? Uh, today it's been only one hour twenty minutes. Um, I think. Let me just test out. Does that command work? Oh yes. There we go. Uh, but in general, I've been. I I think my first stream was uh, about of a month ago to be honest i think it was uh tuesday the 18th of july which would indeed be a month ago hmm. well claire's mates are now being sneaky enjoy the sewing that you said you were doing earlier i assume you're still sewing Well, I have enough of my share. I go ahead. Uh, nope. That is not the way to go. I have enough. Um. That offer sounds nice. Uh, I I appreciate you offering, honestly. Um, right now, uh, can I show you my work? I mean, you can uh, whisper me the link, and I'll have a look. Um, however, I one of my mods, uh, the one who just lurks, is an artist, and so if I wanted to commission. A, uh, a a streaming like art I would probably go to them first however I you can indeed show me your work and I will keep that in mind um, currently I'm not making um, I'm not commissioning any artists to do any overlays or emotes or anything because I'm not at affiliate level yet so I'm not getting any kind of money from it and I don't even have space for emotes so um, and I say to whisper it to me because otherwise you'll get snapped by automod for posting a link um, Um, if you, uh, I, I do, um, I do have Discord, but I'm not giving it out right now. Um, but if you whisper, whisper me using the Twitch whisper, um, so if, if you, it should say uh, next to my name where I typed in chat, uh, whisper, hopefully. Um, if not, I'll I'll just whisper you first, and then you can 
share it there. Okay, um, do you have a, and photos not a whisper, I see, uh, I haven't actually used the uh, whisper before, but I know it is a way to send messages. Um, if you, um, there is a way to send uh, photos uh, by making a link, uh, you can use uh, a card uh, which oh type uh, hold on let me find it you can use that to make a kind of portfolio which I think if you're gonna be doing things like that and just kind of in general making um, doing commissions I think making a card would be useful so you can show off your portfolio without having to get people's uh, discords um, obviously I'm just a random streamer uh, take what I say at a pin with a pinch of salt if you want um, but as I say currently I'm not giving my uh, discord away to people looks janky but that's fine uh, so I think this is big enough to be a shop so I will definitely want a stonemasons because they're very useful for building and all that so lots of stone cutters and then we can make a desk like we did And put some stone cutters here as well. I might make that desk a, a bit further out. It's a bit cramped, but eh, it's functional. Definitely not as big as the other stone masons that is somewhere along there, but that's fine. Is there any space for a window at all? Uh, I could make a window here. I think this building needs a window. By the way, um, Alice Scarlet Inc. If you if you do end up making a card and uh, putting your f your portfolio on that, um, I won't look at it while I'm on stream. I will look at it after the stream because um, it's probably not good to be looking at things on stream. Uh, while I could be uh, doing stream things on stream. So I will look at that after the stream. Um, the stream shouldn't be going on for too much longer, probably either an hour to an hour and a half, probably more likely to, to no, no, that was wrong. Probably half an hour to an hour. That's what I was trying to say. can put a dark oak stairs here there we go we've nearly got all of we've only got one two three four more buildings to go and three of them are tiny 
I think this has been a very, very um, productive stream. So, hmm. you know, we can always dig out the uh, the cave bit that's here. There we go. Yeah, let's swap that round so that's right next to the gates. So we're a bit more efficient. Hmm. You know, what, that's fine. There we go. So then we can um uh 
add a hay bale. Uh, hmm. How are we going to prevent them from... How are we going to make it look nice and prevent them from leaving? You know what? Hay bale can go over here. Ah, oh, but then they can get up here. Uh, oh, wait, no. Uh, hmm. Will the village... No, I mean, even I can't do that and unless I'm jumping, so... And villagers don't often jump. Neither do animals. Not often. Sometimes they do, but it's very, very uncommon. Here we go. Okay, that's slightly annoying. Let's make it a... A two entrance. There we go, that, that looks better. And time for my old nemesis, the roof, again. Didn't mean to burst through that wall. Gonna be honest, I have no idea how to do this roof, to be honest. I think I just said to be honest twice in that sentence. Oh well. Shroom roof is the answer. Or just build a giant mushroom on top of it. Is is that what you're saying? Just just build um, this giant mushroom that I I made in creative. Just just build that on top of the roof. Is is that the answer? <laughs> I'm quite proud of this mushroom to be honest. That that was one of my first proper world edit projects. Um. Anyway, back to struggling with the roof. I mean, what's stopping you? Uh, partially the fact that that would be a lot of gathering of mushroom blocks. Um, and I don't think, I think the mushroom could, would kind of squish the house. And um, no, we're going to be doing mushroom roofs later on in the series. Ooh, there's a there's a teaser for you guys. It may or may not have something to do with that uh, big project that I put in the to-do list. That if you remember from last stream, I I have a to-do list, or maybe the video. It was in the video, I think. So.
Oh, alright, alright, worth waiting for. Yep. I won't say anything more, because spoilers. Um, but that is something that I am working on silently. Right, so in my head right now is a parody of that song from Mulan, um, A Girl Worth Fighting For. And now my brain is just going, A Shroom Worth Waiting For. <laughs> um. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know what, what to say to my brain thinking of that, to be honest. Um, I might just make the rest of it a flat roof because then we may be able to put a shroom on top. You're spreading the cusp. Well, I mean, mushrooms are fun, guy, and we spread spores, so can you blame me? Hold on. There we go. If I extend this out by one, will that be too much, or will that be fine? I think that's fine, as long as I bring this up. I have to tell you, uh, weird shapes in Minecraft, building roofs for weird shapes, definitely very, very hard. Uh, five out of ten would not really recommend. Um, however, on the other hand, pretty, ha pretty shaped houses. So, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of an either or situation, to be honest. Pretty houses or nice roofs. Nice simple roofs, should I say. And then potentially put that down here. And then instead of making that like that, I just extend this out. And then just kind of do this and then just spread that across. Yeah, not the best, not the worst. And I'll take not the worst. To be honest. I don't think this is too bad. Um how many that's three, so we want three here. Three here. And then just extend that by one. And then potentially put a little kind of tower esque bit here. I think earlier on I said that this was Lament of the Ancients. It's not actually Lament of the Ancients. This is called Fault Lines. This is what I used for last episode slash um, in the kind of cinematic finale bit of uh, one dot. There we go, it kind of looks like it has a little heart. <laughs> um, 
not sold on this, but you know, it's fine. We we move past it. Um, anyway, uh, for the cinematic bit at the end of uh, 1.20. This was the music for that. Because part of it kind of sounds like Snowfall Butterflies, which is obviously my outro song slash stream intro song because I only have about one song, apparently. I have actually got a uh, girl worth fighting for stuck in my head now, so... That's, that's fun. I'm not going to play it because I'm worried I'm going to get a copyright strike. And I don't want a copyright strike on my, what, fourth stream, is it? Fourth, third or fourth? because I'm sure Disney would um, would copyright strike me if I were to play <laughs> Girl with well, any of their songs, to be honest, on stream. Um, I don't know how the big streamers, like, um, like I know for a fact that uh, Owens Juice and um, Scott's Major have all, have both played Disney and other musical theatre songs on stream. Don't know how they don't, ha didn't get uh well they might have just not got monetized but you know i don't know i'm not willing to risk it right uh there we go right now for the inside sort out the roof area I might just make all of this one um, one flat roof because why not? We can have well, there won't be that much attic space, but still. There we go. Hmm. What can we do here? Perhaps we... No. Uh, bookshelves. Bookshelves are my go-to if there is a space that needs filling. Because then... I can put in chisel bookshelves in amongst them and then in future videos like we did in episode 4 um, we can use that for law reasons so so I think I'm gonna make this the uh, no I'll put the fishmongers by the docks you know I'll, I'll actually be nice to the fishmongers this time and put them by the docks so we'll have some more uh, Actually, we don't need we don't need that many more um, butchers. To be honest, I don't think I'm going to be using the butchers at all. But you know, it's it's fine. And then we can put some more. Uh, what are they called? Wool workers. I don't know. Um, 
over here. And then we can put some sheep and some pigs here. Not too many, though. Okay, uh, we're nearly... Oh, oh gosh. We're nearly at the end of the episode anyway, so let's just go on to our 1.20 world and just vibe in there for the next 10 minutes. Again, stream is not starting soon. Uh, this is just me because I don't have a BRB screen. I need to keybind the uh, the cut um, transition. Oh, we need to go to sleep. You know what? I'm going to sort out the music and try and put snowfall butterflies on. Give me a second. Don't know where snowfall butterflies is in here, but. Where are Snowfall Butterflies? I swear we've already had half of these songs. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'll put the song on before Snowfall Butterflies, so hopefully by the end of the stream we'll have Snowfall Butterflies. This is a uh, side of the world that I don't actually look at that often. I don't go up here too much. Oh, I didn't realise there were pumpkins here. Ah oh, yes. Uh, we did complete... If you haven't seen the video, honestly, go watch it right after this uh, this stream. Um, but we finished digging out the giant pit under the hill. Um, lore. time. Hello! Uh, the stream's nearly finished, unfortunately. Um, but it's good to have you in. Uh, we're just kind of vibing, to be honest, until the stream ends, which uh, Basically, until this song ends, that's however long this the rest of the stream will be. Um, so we've got to tick off something off the to-do list. Yay! Um, so this is currently what we're on, but this is what we're doing. Um, because I, th I thought tearing down and rebuilding an entire... Oh, hello! Oh, that didn't work. Oh, well. Um, welcome back. Um... I thought that tearing down and rebuilding an entire village would be more fun than putting in farms that will be useful for, say, wheat and sugarcane, etc, etc. This sugarcane farm has been doing well. Wow. So I'll just kind of leave those to, to work. Um, oh, sounds like Snowfall Butterflies is next. So I'm going to turn all of this into paper. There we go. There is Snowfall Butterflies. Okay, I'm just going to quickly make loads of books because we need loads of bookshelves. Um, and then hopefully Snowfall Butterflies won't have finished by the time I finish doing that. There we go. Got a lot of leather. That's a lot of books. That makes me happy. Okay, right. This is going to be the end of the stream. So I thank you all very much for watching. And I hopefully will see you in the next stream. 
and if you haven't watched uh make sure to uh check out my my youtube um and have a look at the video the videos uh just the 1.21s uh 1.19 you can probably go without seeing to be honest um bye i'm not see you next time bye um i'm not going to raid anyone again because i'm a bit scared to do that we'll 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 do that in a future stream don't worry maybe once we've got a few more viewers um bye